Hi, what's up my toxic gamer? So there is a lot of conspiracies going around. We recently heard about the AI bots. We also heard about skill based matching, which we have been hearing for like four years right now. But there's a lot of conspiracies like Sega's are talking about it. And this conspiracy primarily has been started by the homie Blame Truth, who loves to sell that retard helmet. You Bruh. know what I'm saying? He loves to sell those helmets to his fan base. And this has gotten so out of hands that I've even seen you guys. Yes, you! Yes, you! I, I see you! You cannot, you cannot hide right now! Smash the like button and subscribe Bruh. right now. Uh, because, listen, a lot of people actually went in. And shout out to all of you that actually went in. Because, because of you. Sledgehammer my balls. They officially touch on skill-based matching. And we're gonna check out the homie Prestigious Key. Let's see if he's gonna be sucking Activision Tongue. Or is he gonna be on our side? Let's see who side this. Not Over a week ago on November 20th, Sledgehammer held an AMA on Reddit for questions regarding multiplayer and Modern Warfare 3. Yep. And over 90% of those questions were in regard to SBMM and Hell EOMM yeah. and matchmaking and... Shout out to you guys! Shout out to everybody! And these twats, they tried to ignore this and indeed they ignored everybody. But 90%, like, literally everyone was asking about skill-based matchmaking and the e EOM, and they were like, okay, well, uh, she, we gotta, we gotta talk about it. And they finally came out and they broke the silence. Doesn't mean that they're gonna be removing it, though, but it's a good step, right? Guys, we must keep the pressure on. We must keep the pressure on. As a brown man, I demand nobody to buy microtransactions. I know that that's, that's impossible. Whenever Sucker see, just like how Blame Truth, whenever he see the helmet, he's like, I need to promote it to my fan base just like that guys you obviously know that uh where's that i'm trying to find that uh do i have that uh, eh, 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 eh. where is that where is that i get it Fairy, Fairy, Fairy. I, I get it that there are suckers out there whenever they see the friendly UAV online they're like okay i gotta i gotta buy me that friendly <laughs> UAV online but i'm saying as a brown man we should not be... I'm hesitating because I know that some of you suckers are like, uh... I'm gonna buy those friendly UAVs online, but I'm telling you suckers this, okay? Try to not buy any microtransactions. If you bought the game, okay. <laughs> Do not buy any microtransactions. And maybe one day, maybe one day they're gonna remove it, okay? Crazy thought. I know, crazy guys. Crazy of course, thought. it went about as well as we expected. They didn't answer any of those questions, but we did get quite a bit of information in regard to the future of Modern Warfare 3. Yes, However, sir. just earlier today on November 30th, I think I might be uploading this on the next day, so apologies on that. Uh, there was a clip that was circulating Twitter. Swag was basically talking about how Swag? Activision was going to address match. Yo, this guy doesn't know what a radar hack is, though. He loves to. He loves you, tick, tick, tick as well. Just don't get that shot on your bunda, son. Making in some way, shape or form publicly. And we were all kind of like, okay, that's weird. That's interesting. You know, I, I guess we'll see it as soon as it happens. Yeah. And then later in the day, there was actually a statement made, but it wasn't done publicly through a blog post. It wasn't done on the Activision page. It wasn't done via the Call of Duty page. It was a statement provided to Modern Warzone. Talk about the breaking news of the century. Activision has never brought up skill-based matchmaking, and they're providing the statement to Modern Warzone. So, G the emergency meeting, real quick. Part of me feels like that. The reason they're talking about it is not that. Yeah, everybody has been like, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, skill-based matchmaking, skill-based matchmaking. I don't think it's because it can be. Like five or ten percent, uh, I think contributed to that, and them actually coming out and talking about it. But realistically, I think they must have found another algorithm though. They must have made a new system right now, new system. They must have made a new system uh, and they're willing to actually go all out with that. And they're like, okay, we're gonna nerf the skill base and we're gonna remove it. But the next thing that they might have might be even worse than that. So, you know, there's a saying, be careful what you wish for. It's one of those things, right? In Urdu, I would like to say, guys, yaar ye kutte deo pacho, tu si bhen, shori yaar koto. Itne, itne, kya chula hai tumhe? Mujhe bata do na, skill based match kan ka kya rakha hai? Arre, bati ko jao, zara khush ro, bati ko jao, aur kya karna hai? Skill based match kan kyun daalni hai tumhe? Tum apni guard mein chhata ghusa ke phad jao na, aise kar do na. Aur kya chahiye tumhe? Itne to kama rahe ho, itna aur kitna kamana chahte ho? Arre, kutte de ho bache ho, kuch to khof kar do. Alright, I'm done. Let's get into it. GG to you, man. I gotta say, Doug, that probably felt really Bruh. good to break this news. 
Um, and this is what they had to say. It's a pretty lengthy statement, but I'm going to read it from start to finish, and then we'll discuss. Uh -huh. They said, we know there's a lot of interest in the matchmaking experience, especially around how skill contributes to how lobbies and matches are put together. Nothing is more important to us than the experience players have with the game, and matchmaking is a big part of that. We've been working on our matchmaking system for well over 10 years, and we continue to spend a ton of time and energy yeah! on it. 10 years? Say you swear Stop to God, bro. Cap. I, bro, like, listen, okay? Emergency meeting real quick, okay? We do know for the fact that skill-based matchmaking, I mean, they say, not my words, uh, that skill-based matchmaking was in Black Ops 2. <laughs> Listen, man, if there was skill-based matchmaking in Black Ops 2, it wasn't this bad. In fact, we didn't even notice it, though. You feel what I'm saying? There's a difference between skill-based matchmaking that's not noticeable, and that is noticeable. There's a difference between skill-based matchmaking that does not deteriorate fun factor and that actually annihilates the fun factor all right like the video if you agree like the video if you agree because uh you agree right guess you agree. I, I agree you agree we all we all agree let's actually talk about that Improving the matchmaking process. This involves people working at our Call of Duty studios, our back-end services teams at Demonware, and other groups like our Player Insights team. It's a large effort that we've worked on for many years, and our approach combines latency, search time, and skill, along with many other factors, to try and find the best match experience for you. Talking about this topic in detail can be hard, and we haven't spent the time to pull together all of our- Just simply talk with your mouth, or type letters. Why is it hard? Why? Por qué? Why? Por qué? Why is it hard, though? Are khoti deo bache ho, tumko na, mein abhi PT Master khoti school mein bharti karta hoon, PT Master lagata hoon, saale bhaans, chur, bhaan, bhaan, ski dun. Work to share with you our insights and improvements over the many years. We're looking forward to doing that in the coming weeks after season one launches. Oh, and hey. we'll also make it Dog, part- Dog, nah, 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 These seconds are like, okay, once we have everybody that buys your microtransactions, and we, we, we're not gonna talk. Nah, guys, seriously, okay? If you want skill based matchmaking gone, we are in the end game, okay? Do not stay behind. As a brown man, I demand everybody to not buy microtransactions. As a brown man, I demand for you to keep the pressure on. I demand for you to tweet, constantly tweet, and ask about skill based matchmaking politely. You don't have to be uh, mean or anything like that, but you know what I'm saying? A peace and love, you know, shame my brothers, my toxic gamers. You don't have to send like heaven proposals like suckers have been sending. Bruh. So I guess one thing goes bad, so I guess I'm like, let me, let me send you a heaven proposal, okay? Let me send you a, uh, here's a heaven proposal, okay? Here's a, nah, man, like, we don't have to, guys. Don't have to. Simple, okay? Just tweet about skill-based mastery, but we must keep the pressure on, my brothers, because we are in the end game. Uh, I, I bet you, man, with season one, they're gonna, like, make sure and they're gonna gauge how much interest there is, how many people buy the battle pass, how many people buy those, uh, eh, 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 not the retard helmets from the, the homie Blame Truth, but the friendly area line. You, you feel what I'm saying? So they are probably trying to gauge that. Part of Don't our buy. ongoing discussions with the community. Now, whether or not this is due to the change in management, because of course, Microsoft bought Activision Blizzard, this could very well be a direct response so. because of that. So. Or whether or not they're just being more transparent after the abysmal year we had with Modern Warfare 2 and Infinity War. I, I, think, I think primarily, I would not give credit or discredit. I, I would not credit and I would not discredit Phil Spencer or Xbox and Microsoft this year. I know there's seconds that saying that Modern Warfare 3 sucks ass because of Xbox bought it. Nah, guys, like this game has been in development. This patch, this DLC was in development for like six, uh, eight months prior to uh, the, the them buying, right? Like, let's be real. The next year game, yep, you can give uh, Xbox credit or discredit or you can go crazy at them or whatever, right? Like if next year game's amazing, yeah, some credit will go to Activision and some will go to Xbox uh, and Phil Spencer, Microsoft, right? But if the game sucks, some credit uh, will go to Microsoft and Xbox equally for them sucking ass. Simple as that. But this year, you cannot. I, I truly do believe the reason they're finally talking about it is A, because uh, it's not Infinity Tard. Infinity Tard shouldn't even make any Call of Duty game. Let's, let like, just fire those suckers. Like, fire those suckers. Let's, let's, let's be real, man. Like, th those suckers... Maybe, okay, let them make campaigns, but that's pretty much it. Don't let them touch anything else, especially not the decisions making, though. These, those twats, they, the, 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 I, I get mad even, like, talking about it because they, they killed a beloved franchise. And listen, I'm a Call of Duty fanboy, simple as that. 
I love this franchise, bruh, but I did not buy this gear because the game sucks. Uh, gameplay is fun, but their model sucks, though. It can be, uh, this game could have been amazing if it had been they charge people 30 or 40 dollars or put it on Modern Warfare 2022 as a patch. Or give people for free if you have Modern Warfare 2. Or if you don't have Modern Warfare 2, just charge people $70. I think then it would have been much better. But the fact that it's just remaster mass, recycled mass, uh, then yeah. But I have to give them credit for listening to the fan base and even talking about skill based matching. That's the positive. Yep, we talked about the negatives, but now this is the biggest positive. Sledgehammer, my balls, <laughs> Sledgehammer Games, they listen to the community. And Bruh. I surely do love to, love to see that. And credit to them, bro. Credit to them. Shout out to them. As well. Ward, I can say I'm pretty shocked that they mentioned anything about the matchmaking. Yeah. They could have still just been radio silent and continued on their way. I think part of it is uh, to do with the sales numbers going down. I think that's one of the other factors as well. Hey, but it definitely sounds like they're going to be opening up an avenue of discussion and probably giving us an incredibly detailed blog post in I regard so. to how the matchmaking works. I IGN nah, did Brad, they're not going to be like, it's like simply put like it's like it's like asking coca-cola to reveal their 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 blueprint on how they make it they're not gonna do it they're not gonna do it even if they wanted to do i don't think they will do it because uh if they let the information out of the in the public about their skill based matching and other gaming companies will copy that uh it's like that nuclear formula right like if i have the nuke i don't want you to have it okay I don't want you to copy it, okay? <laughs> you know, it's that strong, independent woman kind of approach with the, these formula son. Uh, they don't want anybody to copy those formula, my brother. Did reach out to Activision in regard to this statement, and they stated that this stems from a live conversation from Call of Duty representatives at an event and accurately describes what was said, and we will not be issuing anything further at this time. Yeah. I think one of the reasons why the statement came out, by the way, is because of what Swag ended up saying earlier, yeah. so they needed to hurt- Swag, who likes you? <laughs> yeah, that's the Swag he's talking about, guys. Free up and put something out Bruh. the same day, because people really started wondering what they would be talking about, whether or not they'd be loosening up the SBMM, or, or what's going to be happening. So this statement is a, a little bit of control on top of a little bit of transparency, uh -huh. which is all we've ever really asked for, to Yay. be honest. I remember back during Yay. Infinite Warfare and BO3 and BO4 and all those games it that wasn't came that out. Bad. When we would go to live events, we would try to bring up skill-based matchmaking. We would try to raise these concerns. You want skill-based matchmaking really that bad during Black Ops 4? I cannot remember. I don't think it was that bad. Modern Warfare 19 started it all. And it was the worst skill-based matchmaking we ever felt. And then Modern Warfare 22, it was even worse. And Modern Warfare 3, I feel like that it feels way worse. Right? Listen, I did not buy the game, so I'm not sure. But Sega's are complaining about it. And Sega's are saying that it's even worse than last year's. And I believe that. The reason I believe that is because most people that are buying the game are hardcore people. And yeah, that, 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 that's pretty much it. And the casuals as well. And casuals are, and everybody's getting better at the games as well. So everybody's like playing the games, like their life depends on it. <laughs> Go out there and touch some grass. Like, but listen, I have been playing Black Ops Cold War, Nuketown 24 seven for the past week, literally every night for 30 minutes uh, tops. I haven't played games. Uh, for a very long time so recently started picking and i'm gonna be honest though i am enjoying call of duty black ops cold war i'm loving it and i think the reason is this there is surely skill based management in black ops cold war but it doesn't feel that bad because i think the people that are playing black ops cold war are probably people that didn't buy modern warfare 3 and also the casuals right that that bought it years and years ago so suckers are taking it lightly people aren't like grinding the game people aren't like hey my life depends on this one i need to do good otherwise i might be dead so people aren't playing it like that people are just playing it very casually and quite frankly guys this is gonna sound insane but on one monitor on this monitor right here okay the on top of my camera here this monitor i'm playing the game and on this monitor i'm watching like tv shows i'm watching movies i'm listening to podcasts and guess what the shocking thing of them all guys i'm not even playing the game with sound though. And I am doing decent. I'm enjoying the game. I'm loving it. Listening to something, 
playing the game here without any sound sound and doing pretty fire doing pretty decent i'm when i say pretty fire i mean like one two kd uh like that sometimes even below one kd though. but i'm enjoying it because it doesn't feel too bad we were either met with a brick wall or we were shot down so the fact now it seems like they're listening especially after the abysmal year of modern warfare 2 um, that's incredible. I'm glad that is, there was a breakthrough. I'm, gr I'm glad that there was. This is why Infinity Tar shouldn't be making the next Call of Duty game. Just let them let them make a you know a campaign, but that's it. Finally, something said because it is important. It's a good conversation to have, and the transparency really is all we really could ever ask for. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, as to what's going to happen moving forward, um, changing the entire matchmaking system, I can tell you, is not going to happen. There's just nothing yeah. that's going to change in regard to I, I think that's a realistic take our current matchmaking system i mean sure they might loosen up the parameters for skill-based matchmaking and i think that would be the best option while still maintaining this matchmaking system or or, or keep the entire skill-based matchmaking but in rank play but in public keep it public keep it how it is because i'm playing black ops cold war and i'm gonna tell you this guys i'm having fun playing it why without trying hard though video games are meant to be fun like when you had a long day at work long day at school uh for me like making videos and at the end of the day i just want to like chill watch something and play the game at the same time that that's what i'm talking about bro. that's what i'm talking Down about Mon but with Mon modern warfare 19 at launch i believe even black ops cold war at launch i couldn't do that because skill based management was so thick and i understand i believe the homies i believe the homies when they say modern warfare 3 skill based management is crazy you can it feels like a job it feel, playing this game feels like a job and it should not be like that and now in the purest form i'm feeling that about black ops cold war it it feels fun though it feels fun them that they've created over the past 10 years like they've been talking about in this statement here loosening up certain parameters allowing you know a, a little bit more leniency when it comes to matchmaking and skill and how players are put together yeah. i think that could help tremendously Hell of yeah. course we already know that sledgehammer mentioned that they're going to be talking about the disbanding lobbies and doing some internal tests and then external tests to players on whether or not the, the lobbies are going to get disbanded and uh, go from there whether or not they're going to release that to everybody but the one thing that i can say that i've always stood by when it comes to sledgehammer games is you, you just you can't sleep on them you know, they've really done as much as they possibly can with the limited amount of time that they were given. And when it comes to this year in particular, I feel like they're really trying to be as experimental as possible, not only with communication through their social media like they have been so far this year, responding to people just generally speaking on the fly. That's really nice, but also yeah, yeah. in game. We have- Listen, as somebody who did not buy Modern Warfare 3, I mean, thumbs up to Sledgehammer Games or whatever, man. And, and I'm not giving them this thumbs up to shove up their butt ass or something like that. <laughs> I'm genuinely giving y'all suckers that thumbs up, man. I would give the same thumbs up to Infinity War and shove that up your ass, bruh. Take your own thumb and shove up your ass, Infinity Tart. But to Sledgehammer, man, like, honestly, like, from a... From... <laughs> yeah, I'm honestly giving them a real thumbs up because y'all suckers are doing something good, man. Y'all suckers, even though I didn't buy the game, the reason... The reason is simple. The reason I did not buy Modern Warfare 3 is not because your game sucks. The reason is the last few games have been trash, skill based mainstream, especially Modern Warfare 2022. That game broke the camel's back. <laughs> the, those suckers completely disowned their fan base. They completely pissed on their fan base and they told us to go pound sand. Literally, they were like, oh, We are listening to your feedback. Give us your feedback. And when everybody gave them their feedback, they're like, uh, we, we, we cannot uh, do this. We cannot do that. So, why y'all suckers asked for our feedback? doesn't make sense bro doesn't make sense so that's primarily the reason infinity tart is the reason i didn't buy this game otherwise i probably would have whole experimental playlist that is constantly being updated with new things coming through week after week and i love it i love the fact that we have that i love the fact that we have the opportunity to pretty much try new things that call of duty has otherwise been too scared to try or maybe they didn't have the means to try it before because there were no private test servers there were mm, no yeah. options to add something and then pull it out quickly if it wasn't working you know Otherwise, these updates had to come through and be put out to the public for everyone to experience in all these different modes. I think that's probably one of the smartest things Sledgehammer has ever done, the experimental playlist. That's just, it's brilliant to me. So as for the skill-based <laughs> matchmaking in this conversation that they're having here, Man. what this is going to result in, we don't know until it happens, obviously. But this is opening up an inc- Hopefully it's not gonna result in more- Incredible door for conversation. This is opening up an incredible door of hope like for the first time yep, i have yep, a small yep, glimmer yep. of hope 
That yes, something sir. can actually change. That something might actually be. There is hope, my brothers. There is some hope. Be done. And it's been a long time since I felt that. And once again, I don't know if it's because Microsoft took over and they're trying to save face and turn the ship around or do whatever they can in order to get into the good graces of the community. But this is truly opening up a door for so much conversation and so much possibility in the future for matchmaking surrounding. Yeah, I, I truly hope next year's game is good. There's a, there's a chance that Black Ops next year is going to be good because they're saying it's going to be in development for four years. And it's Sledgehammer, my boss really turned the ship around and they really talk about skill based matchmaking and potentially remove it or lessen it. Next year is looking very good for Call of Duty if all the stars align. But recently, Sega's were caught cheating though. This cheating problem is getting crazy and crazy by the day in Call of Duty. Click on this video on the screen. Let's laugh together. And guys, don't let your dogs out. Check it out and I'll see you.